Hello everyone. I am Dr. Anand Patil, Associate Consultant in Department of Urology, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore, Old Airport Road. Today I will be discussing with about PPH and min new minimally invasive uh, technology in treating BPH. BPH is enlargement of the prostate. Prostate is a small gland which is seen in the male pelvis which surrounds the urethra. Whenever there is enlargement in the prostate, this prostate rests on the urethra, pushes the urethra, so it hampers the urinary passage through the urinary bladder. Many patients in their age group of 50s, 60s come across with the symptoms of enlarged prostate. The most common symptoms of enlarged prostate are they will have a poor flow of urine, incomplete emptying of the bladder, sometimes urgency with some urinary incontinence and sometimes burning sensation, sometimes stones are noted in the bladder. So there are various treatment options for BPH. We have medical management, we have surgical management. 70% of the BPH symptoms can be managed with medically. In surgical management, we have various options like we have traditional way of doing TURPs that is transurethral resection of the prostate. We have laser prostatectomies, whole surgeries and we have urolift. In transurethral resection of prostate, we use electrical energy to resect the prostate which is blocking the urethra by creating a widening channel through the prostate. This procedure is associated with various complications like hematuria, that is blood in urine, burning sensation after this procedure, which subsides, it takes almost four to six weeks to come down. So the recovery time in TURPs to reach the preoperative activities, it takes four to six weeks of time. In era of minimally invasive technology, we have Eurolift device. So in this Eurolift device, it is a simple procedure wherein we pass a small camera inside the urinary passage and we use staplers to fire the implants across the prostate to pull the prostate apart and create a widening channel. This is basically a mechanical way of creating a widening channel where there is no cutting of the prostate, there is no ablating of the prostate. It is just placing the implants and pulling the prostate apart. We usually use two to four implants to pull the prostate apart. There are larger process where the more number of implants might be required. So the advantages of Eurolift is it is a minimally invasive one. The patient can come to the hospital, get the procedure done, same day can get discharged from the hospital and go back to home without catheter. Important advantage of Eurolift is preservation of the sexual function, which was not noticed in the previous traditional way of doing where there was retrograde ejaculation, where there was uh, erectile dysfunction. But with this Eurolift, we are able to preserve the sexual function. And the safety profile of this Eurolift is excellent and it has been studied worldwide. N number of papers have come and which suggest it's a safety procedure to undergo. Added advantage of the Eurolift is the symptom relief is rapid. Patient can get back to his pre-operative activities within a couple of days and there is no rest required post-procedure. There are minimal complications associated with the Eurolift. You can notice some blood tinged urine and you can notice some burning sensation after uh, this procedure, which is a self-limiting one. There is no additional treatment required for these complications. To conclude, Eurolift is a minimally invasive surgery where patient can have a preserved sexual function, get back to their pre-operative activities early. So I encourage patients with symptoms of BPH to discuss with their urologist for the various treatment options possibility of Eurolift procedure. We at Manipal Hospital Bangalore, Old Airport Road have dealt with such similar cases in the past. Apart from that, we have a disciplined team 
who have a vast experience and knowledge related to urolift we have happy patients who are back to their normal life